uh, my name is Jordan. I'm a computer tech at the Women's Center here at Lane. And I'm here doing a video tutorial on getting to know your computer. And um, I'm going to go through some of the basic hardware components of a desktop computer. And I want to say don't be too nervous if you, don't, if you aren't familiar with any of the words or some of the terms I use. I'm going to go through and just give you a basic idea of the functions just so you'll become familiar with uh, the different concepts and, uh, and uh, parts involved with a computer. Um, so just to be a brief overview, um, this is a case here. Um, this is the uh, motherboard here, this panel inside the case. Uh, this is a power supply. This here is called a central processing unit. Uh, this inside this case is called a hard drive. And these here are sticks of RAM, or random access memory. And uh, just to give you some more details, um, this case here, uh, this is just a standard mid-size case. Um, it really uh, is just, it houses all the hardware. Um, one of the most important um, aspects you want in a case is you want uh, good airflow and good ventilation. Um, usually the bigger the better. It, it just allows more air to flow through and keep your parts cool. Um, and uh, you'll see inside here, um, this panel here, this is called the motherboard. Um, this is where all your peripherals and um, your CPU, they all kind of, uh, uh, they connect here. I would call it like the bones of the computer. Um, and you'll see up here, uh, right on top of the motherboard, this is called the power supply. And it does what you think it does. It converts the uh, electrical energy of, uh, out of an electrical outlet into one that your computer uses. Um, and you'll see here, this cor these cords um, connect right into the motherboard. That's called an ATX power cord. Um, and um, it connects through all the other peripherals through SATA power cords, though that's not too important just to, just to mention. Um, we'll go here now. Uh, this is called the central processing unit, or the CPU. Um, this is probably, uh, arguably, the most important component of your computer. Um, it does most of the heavy lifting. Um, it's like the brain of the computer. It processes all the code in, into a usable form, so it's user-friendly. And I'll show you where it connects into the motherboard. It'll actually, it has these pins on its underside, and it plugs right in right there. And um, there's actually um, this, pan, this fan here is called a heat sink and that'll snap right on top of your CPU to keep it cool because this is the one that usually gets the most heat. Um, so now to go here to the hard drive. Um, the hard drive itself is uh, actually the component here that's inside this box. Uh, this is just the case that it will uh, attach it inside the computer. Um, and what the hard drive does is it's all your long-term storage. Um, so uh, your operating system is stored on your hard drive. Uh, any files that you save uh, onto your computer in folders or otherwise are stored on your hard drive. And I'll show you where it goes here in your computer. Um, it just pins right in here. Um, you'll have some screws here to screw it in. and. Again, the SATA cords are going to connect to your hard drive and run it to the power supply. Um, and just for the last part here, um, these are called RAM, or random access memory. And um, as the hard drive is the long-term storage, uh, the RAM is the short-term memory of your computer. It, it's what holds the data that you open. Um, you're going to, anything you open, uh, a website or any program you choose to, to run, it's going to be opened and processed through your RAM, and that takes a little strain off your uh, CPU. And um, usually for um, higher end computers, you'll have um, uh, more RAM, like the more RAM, the better usually, but to a certain extent, there's only so many programs you could run at one point, so that's another thing to keep in mind. But I'll show you here where it connects into your motherboard. 
Um, you see these blue slots here. Um, your RAM actually just sticks right in, right onto your motherboard, just like that, and um, snaps right in. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the bare bones of your computer. There's also uh, peripherals that you want to keep in mind. You have your monitor and um, your keyboard and the mouse. These are all peripherals. Um, you'll also have a, a disk drive usually connected. This um, computer doesn't have one, but that connects here up top and goes through your motherboard also. Um, but I think that's the, the most important parts of your computer. Um, uh, we're going to have some other modules and tutorials up on a, a buyer's guide and uh, just exploring your options for computers. So I hope you'll check those out. And come over to the Women's Center. Uh, we're always available for um, tutoring or any help you'll need. All right, thank you.